All right, here we go. I never welcome everybody. Welcome to Drink with Rick on the Saturday night wine stream. Tonight I have a very special wine we're going to try. This is called Tradition, and uh, it is a red wine, a somewhat mysterious red wine right now. Uh, we're trying to figure out exactly um, what is in this wine and uh, who makes it. And this actually came from wine store. Uh, I tried out a little bit of it, uh, just, just a, a little tasting uh, Thursday night, and I thought this should make an excellent wine to try out. Uh, this, this wine, though, it, uh, it, we weren't really sure what was in it. They didn't know exactly what was in it. it was, it's a, some sort of a red blend. Uh, we're going to find out tonight. I actually did a little research on it just before um, we started the show here. So uh, we're going to explore that a little bit. We're going to try it out and see how it pairs out with, with what or pairs up with the foods that we have tonight. Let's see who is joining us tonight in uh, the chat. Charles is with us in the chat. It's great to see you, Charles, uh, in the chat, that is. <laughs> I can't actually see you, but um, I can I can see you in the chat. And, um, and thanks for stopping by, and I hope you'll stick around. We're going to have a great time tonight. Hope you have something to to share to to drink also uh, while we're while we're here and uh, I hope you're doing well and uh, you know stick around stick around this is going to be a great time and and chat with me chat with me definitely chat with me interact with me uh, that's uh, what I that's what I live for in this wine stream is to to chat with all my friends uh, and uh, you know just hang out and we'll talk about things. Pete's with us in the chat. Welcome, Pete. I'm glad you can make it uh, on the chat with, or in the uh, to the wine stream with us and in the chat. It's great to see you in the chat, and I hope you'll stick around and open a bottle of whatever uh, you have tonight. And uh, I I actually happen to know what uh, what Denise likes, so uh, you know maybe maybe she has maybe she can join in as well, and she'll open a bottle of her favorite wine too. Um, just want to let you know a couple of things. Um, you can check it out. I'm actually, it took me, uh, I'm, I'm, we're starting off pretty much on time. It's a little bit late, on time. I'm, I'm sort of doing this as a one man show, so uh, I'm having to coordinate with getting it up on uh, here on Facebook and on YouTube and on the website at drinkwithrick.com. It's going, it's streaming the Periscope. The thing is, I didn't have time to, to pop a Twitter. Uh, uh, a tweet in there to, to get it up there, so it'll probably go up after the fact. But um, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> it's I may have to have Tommy come in, and, and he's asked me before. I may have to have him come in and do some producing for me during this wine stream. I might have him do that next week and as we go along because it's just getting a little a, a lot for me to do by myself, getting everything set up ahead of time, um, and I want to make sure everybody sees it. Um, of course, you can check it out on the website, uh, drinkwithrick.com. Uh, you can reach me, of course, at my email at rick at savoyamedia.com. Uh, we have a Twitter, uh, Drink With Rick is the Twitter, at Drink With Rick. Uh, YouTube channel, we have, we're on YouTube as well, Drink With Rick on YouTube. And uh, we have a Facebook page, uh, Drink With Rick, of course. Uh, the Saturday Night Wine Stream. So that's what we have going. There's a lot happening here. Now tonight we're going to open up, as I said before, Tradition Red Wine. This is a very interesting red wine. Now I stopped at the wine, at wine store, our local wine store in Blakeney um, here, and uh, they had a couple of new wines to try. Uh, this one, I, 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 I tried it out. <clears throat> Initially I was going to go in for something else, but this one uh, sort of caught my fancy after I had a little tasting of it. I thought it was very, very interesting. Uh, now, of course, as you know, when, we, when you taste a wine, to really taste a wine, you have to get down into the bottle a little bit. And uh, that's what we're going to do tonight to really see if it, it lives up to my expectations from the tasting, the little bit that I had uh, at wine store. And I tried to get a little background on this wine, but they really didn't seem to know a whole lot about it because apparently this is one that, uh, well, it kind of 
flew under the radar. It, it's a new. This thing's very new. In fact, it's so new. I did a check on this, and uh, it, it doesn't seem to be available in a lot of places. Now, this one, uh, traditionwine.com. Let me see if I can have. Uh, I've got some images of this. And uh, this is what it looks like on the front. And uh, this is, uh, I'm going to read a little bit from, from what's on the back end of this wine on the back side. This, uh, and I'll read what it says. It says, uh, it's a 2016 Napa Valley wine. The Clark brothers grew up making cult wines off the slopes of Howell Mountain with their family in Amazetta Estate Winery. Using their 40-year history of winemaking knowledge in Napa Valley, the brothers are now embarking on their own wine adventure. Traditionwine.com. That's the name of the website, traditionwine.com. I went to the website. I visited the website. I'm not going to pull up the website here uh, per se, but I did um, go to the website, and it turns out that uh, they, uh, the website, it's... I don't know, they, they have two wines there, and they have a 2016 vintage of this, but not the current one, not the, the, the well, excuse me, they have a 20, uh, no, it was a di different vintage. This is a 2016, by the way, so I got myself mixed up here. This is a 2016, and what they have on their site, uh, let me pull it up here just a, a moment, uh, if I can find it again, uh, and I... I had it up here earlier. Oh, here it is. Uh, apparently, the one they've got... Meh, well, I can't... It's not up here anymore. Anyway. <laughs> uh, well, there's not a whole lot available on this wine. As a matter of fact, uh, when I went there, it was a little bit of a mystery as to what is actually in this wine. It's a red blend of some sort. And the, the ladies there told me that, uh, you know, they were looking around. They really couldn't find a whole lot of information on this wine. It's, it's pretty new. So I said, well, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll take a bottle, and then I'll do a little research on it myself. I did. I, I did a little uh, research on it. And it turns out that um, the, the Clark brothers, uh, the Perry and, and, and Eddie Clark, I believe, um, they, they're, I guess they, they're from uh, St. Helena, and they're in a, a, a winemaking family. It goes pretty far back. And they, um, they've got, uh, apparently one of them, I think Eddie's the winemaker, and Perry is, uh, uh, he's, he's a general manager at, at, uh, at the family's original winery in, in Amazetta. Now, apparently, uh, and they've been making this, these wines for a while, and apparently, um, Eddie is married to Jenny Wagner Clark, who just happens to be, she happens to own the Camus family wine. Uh, now, uh, as, if you've seen some of the wine streams in the past, I have, uh, have just sort of gushed over Camus. I have a 40th anniversary Camus wine that I opened uh, at a... Um, at an event, I think it was Thanksgiving uh, a few years back, and I kind of wished I hadn't opened it because now I don't have it anymore. Uh, that was the one that was definitely one to keep. It was a keeper wine for a while, and it's uh, it was very, very good. I was really impressed with that wine. <clears throat> Excuse me. The uh, thing is, is that that wine was about $100 a bottle, at the time that I drank it, <laughs> so uh, it, it's it's a pricey wine. Anyway, uh, so the fact that that the um, that this is somehow related to the Camus wines is, uh, is I, I'd say it, it's it's rather exciting. I think it's it's rather exciting, and I'm looking forward to trying this wine uh, because if it's anything close to um, that uh, the anything from the Camus winery, uh, it it should be really really good. Now, I did a little more research on it, and I found out that I found out that this is apparently a Merlot and Cab combination on this on this wine. It's uh, fifty percent Mer uh, Merlot and fifty percent Cabernet. 
So uh, it should be interesting. I love a good Merlot. I like a good Cab. So this should be a good combination. We'll, we'll see how it, how it turns out. Now tonight, also to go along with it, uh, my lovely wife Chi has prepared a little dish of, uh, of some uh, things to, to try with the wine to see how it pairs up with them. We have some crackers, some uh, grapes, uh, some of my favorite olives that are stuffed with, uh, with uh, garlic, garlic stuffed olives. Uh, some cheese. I'm not sure what cheese she has in there. It looks looks like a mozzarella. I'm not absolutely sure. And it looks like we have a bit of a beef summer sausage in there. Now, I'm not sure all that's going to pair up this wine. I may not try all that with the wine. But we do have something else. Um, now, I have supposedly this wine, as a chicken on, supposed to pair up fairly good with some, some, uh, some uh, meat, some spicy meats and some lamb and uh, and a little bit of pasta including maybe a lasagna and it just so happens that for tonight my wife Chi made a nice lasagna she makes a pretty decent lasagna so we're going to try that pair it up with the wine and see how that see how that goes um, if you can hear that creaking in the background that's my chair I've got to switch out my chair at some point but uh, that's a story for another Another time this evening. In the meantime, let's go ahead, cut to the chase, and let's open up this bottle of wine. Uh, you know what? Before I go uh, that far, I probably should tell you what this wine costs. Uh, I checked around online. It's going for about $40 a bottle, although it doesn't seem to be on sale yet uh, anywhere. I checked Vivino.com, and they, uh, they, they have it listed for $40 a bottle, and they don't have it available yet. A few other places uh, don't. I'll tell you what I paid for at wine store because I have my receipt here, and I paid um, uh, $24.99 for this bottle of wine. Now, yeah, of course, you know my take on that as far as, as uh, buying wines are concerned. So you might, you may have raised your eyebrows here a little bit. You might be a little bit surprised that I paid that much for a bottle of wine uh, without having actually tried it per se now like i said i did have a little tasting so i i i, I said okay you know I, I i can spring for that but the, we will say that i'll say that this is i'm pretty sure this is uh this was probably the most expensive wine that i've ever opened on this wine stream so far i think pretty close to that was the um i think it was the uh, what was it? The Super Tuscan from from uh, Cooper's Hawk Winery and Restaurant in Orlando uh, that I purchased earlier this year uh, when I was at uh, Podfest 2019. But uh, that was pretty close. I think it was that was yeah, it was almost about the, that that same price. But uh, the, I think this one's probably the most expensive one I've opened so far. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this wine, and we'll try it out if I can get it open. There we go. I've got my cutter here. Oh, that moment. Got my cutter here, and of course I have my my contraption here, my my wine uh, bottle opener, and uh, this is the one that Chi found for me in a state sale for five dollars. I know this cost originally a lot more than five dollars. Uh, it's definitely worth to me more than five dollars, and we're gonna open it up here. It's very easy open. Oh, that was. Pretty smooth, actually. And uh, let me go ahead and take that cork out. There we are. Now, we're going to let this wine breathe a little bit. And to do that, uh, I'm going to use my, my aerator from the Veneto, Veneta Wine Lover Set, which I purchased off Amazon. And I think it was about $20. It was a pretty good buy. Um, and we tried this out for the first time a couple weeks ago, a couple of streams ago, and it worked out pretty well. So we're going to try it again tonight. And we're going to aerate this wine a little bit. I'm doing this in my Cooper's Hawk wine glass. Genuine, there we go, genuine crystal wine glass. <laughs> it's tradition. Although I should have done it before I poured the wine. All right, we're going to take now. At, at first glance, this is uh, this is 
has a pretty dark complexion to it. It looks like a looks like a pretty full body. It looks uh, rather dark, and I would expect that from a Merlot. Uh, in any kind of a Merlot combination. Let's see if we can get a good swirl here and see if we can get some some uh, legs on this. And it looks like, from what I could tell, it takes a minute or two, and I, I, the, I did not chill the wine, so it should be all right. Um, it does seem to have some body to it. And uh, it's, it's coming down kind of slow. It's, it's, uh, it does have some legs, but it's, it's coming down. Uh... Let's see what our alcohol content is on this. 15.1% alcohol by volume in this 750 milliliter bottle. Um, that's a fairly high amount of alcohol for a, for, um, for a wine. Uh, fairly high. Uh, we've had some that were about 15%. And let's see if we can give this, uh, we've had, given it time to, to air out a little bit before we get started. Let me see, anybody else in the chat? Uh, let's see, we have Charles, we have Pete. Uh, anybody else joining? You know, I haven't really checked the, the uh, uh, let's see, uh, YouTube. We don't have, you usually don't get too many people in the YouTube chat, um, per se, because it's it's just not something that, uh... all right, let's see what we got here. Give it a good smell here. Mm. This has a lot of, I think this is somewhat complex. This has a lot of, um, it does have a bouquet, but it has a lot of aroma to it. It has different, let me see if we can pick up. Hmm. Hmm. Smell a little, little chocolate actually. Smell some chocolate in there. You get a little vanilla too. All right, maybe a little bit of uh, very, very berry. Let's give it a taste. Wow, it is a rather berry wine. I taste a little bit of, I taste a little chocolate and blueberry. Interesting. Wow. Now I did taste something similar to that in the in the, um, uh, the 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 little tiny tasting I did at wine store, but um, this is a little bit more more so than than I tasted before. I remember. Hmm. Very juicy. It's a very juicy. It's it's it has um, it has some tannins. Some it's 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 a little tannic, not too bad. It's it's rather kind of smooth, I think. Slight hint of oak, but um, hmm. I need to, I need some more of this. This is this is pretty good. You know, and I think this aerator helps. Maybe that's part of it because um, they were just pouring the wine straight out of the bottle. They didn't have an aerator or anything. Although the bottle had been open for a while, so it had a chance to breathe a little bit. But it was breathing. It was in the bottle. It wasn't. It didn't have it out in a decanter uh, or anything like that. <clears throat> so maybe this aerator is really. Hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, um, very fruity. You know, I think this would go pretty well with a with a spicy meat. Let's try, let's try uh, some of this summer sausage. Uh, hmm. Mm hmm.
Yeah, I think it matches okay with that. I don't know that I would do this with the olive and garlic and olive. Um, I think it would probably work better with a um, a spicier cheese than what I have. And mozzarella here is a little, I think, a lot tamer than that. But uh, it seems to to uh, to work pretty well uh, with with this uh, with this uh, meat. Uh, let me get a little cracker here. I've got a. I think this is a club cracker of some sort. Try to clear my palate out a little bit. And then we'll have another taste. Oh, yeah. You know, I'd say at $24.99, about $25 a bottle, I would say this is actually um, well worth it. Definitely not a wine that I would buy to uh, sit at, just sit at home and drink by myself. This is definitely a wine I'd want to share with others, uh, particularly with a, in a you know with a good meal. Uh, you know we're gonna try we're gonna try it with uh, cheese lasagna, and I have a, a little piece of lasagna here. I did not have my dinner. Everyone else had, went down there and had dinner, and I was up I was busy up doing a. A little show prep here for for the wine stream tonight so uh, to be honest I don't have a lot mm. Mm. I don't want to lose a fork because I want to eat some more of this this lasagna is good mm. very cheesy Just a little bit a little bit on the cold side now because it's been sitting up here for a little while um, Hmm. Yeah, you know what? The wine brings out the wine brings out the uh, the tomato sauce and the um, and the meat. Because my wife has, uh, I think she has uh, some beef in there and tomato sauce, and she has. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure she made that with ricotta. It looks like ricotta cheese. And the pasta itself, I you know, it actually really brings out the flavor of this of this uh, lasagna. It really does. So I think that would actually go pretty well with a lasagna. I would think uh, it doesn't do too bad with the with the uh, meat. Now, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure I'm going to try this with the the garlic olives right now. Uh, maybe we'll do that later when I've had a little bit more. Maybe enough to drink that I really don't care <laughs> if it. If it uh, works well or not, but um, so anyway, um, that, yeah, I I think I would recommend this wine. But what I would do is I would recommend this wine. I I think it would go well with pasta. And Pete, if uh, excuse me, if Pete if Pete loves pasta. I know that. Excuse me, um, the um, mm, it does. Uh, <laughs> it works. It does. Um, but I would th I would say that if you can find a bottle of this uh, locally up there in your area, I think that would work. Um, now, Charles, I, I'm, you know, I know where where you are. If it's not available, they may wine store may maybe ship to your area or, or not. Uh, I'm not sure. Wine store it's wine store dash online dot com. Now they. Uh, uh, and I'm not pitching them. I, I'm not getting paid to do that. I'm just you know, saying I, I, that's where I like to shop for the wines. I, and once again, the Vino doesn't doesn't seem to have this yet. You can watch for that if you like to to shop there. Uh, I haven't really seen any place else that actually carries this just yet. Uh, it's pretty new. I don't know uh, if this is something that's going to be widely available either. Uh, I know that wine store happened to get. Uh, they, uh, apparently they're fortunate enough to get a, a few cases of this, and I think I'm going to go down um, uh, a couple of days and, and get uh, after weekend and, and get a couple more bottles of this because I, I and to save to, to save and keep uh, in my new wine fridge. Oh, I got to tell you about my new wine fridge. That's coming up. Don't let me forget about that. Remind me if I start to forget. I want to talk about my new wine fridge. Excellent. Um, 
This, uh, this is a Napa Valley wine. So uh, I think this would uh, work pretty well with, with uh, yeah, with spicy meats. And uh, maybe, maybe this might work well with some um, uh, spicy or, sm well, I don't know about smoky cheeses. I mean, if you got a spicy cheese, uh, that, would, that might work uh, well. Not too spicy. You don't want to make it too spicy. I mean, nothing with a, you know, uh, with, with a lot of pepper or anything like that, peppers in it. But um, it does go very well with the lasagna. I'll have to say that. I like that. It really brought out the flavor of the lasagna. So I would recommend that with a lasagna. It might go it might go good with uh, with a good steak if it's uh, if it's marinated steak. It might work well with that. I'm just guessing, but uh, and well, once again, I'm not a professional sommelier. I'm not uh, you know a professional wine taster, but uh, I I know what I like, and um, I'm just guessing that this this is probably what I drink it with. is a is a really good. Uh, Maybe a, a nice, uh, a nice marinated um, a steak, um, probably. But I think more, uh, and maybe some sausages. Maybe sausage. I think it would go well with sausage. This would probably go well with a, a, a pizza if it had like pepperoni on it or, or something like that. This would, I think, this would go very well with a with a pepperoni pizza. It would definitely bring out the flavor of the piece, the pizza, and the tomato sauce if they if you have one that has a lot of tomato sauce on it <clears throat> so or something with maybe some diced tomatoes on it that that would probably work work well as well this is a little i, I i'd say it, it might be a little acidic not bad that's not necessarily a bad thing but um uh, i think this is uh mm. Okay, keep pouring. I have to keep pouring, right? That's what you guys would say, right? Keep pouring. <laughs> That's what uh, my sisters would say. Uh, I don't see Gina or Penny in, the, uh, in here tonight in the chat, but it might be a little bit late for them. I don't know. But uh, if they were here, they would probably just say, keep pouring. Um, <laughs> so I will. Anyway, cheers. Now, I do... Uh, I would say that that uh, uh, twenty five dollars a bottle. I'd say that it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. And once again, I wouldn't drink it alone uh, because you, you don't want to spend twenty five bucks a day on on a bottle of wine like this. But this is definitely something uh, when the company comes over and you know kind of keep it uh, cool. I mean, you don't don't chill it, chill it, but you know keep it if you have a wine cooler. Uh, um, of sorts that you can keep it down to a controlled temperature, a wine cellar. I think that'd be good. It'll probably keep for, for, for a while. I'm just guessing. Let me check the bottom. Ooh, deep pit, deep pit in the bottom of the bottle. And as I have said before, uh, apparently when the pit is is fairly deep in the bottle, it's there to catch it means uh, the inside of the bottle is there to catch the sediment, which means that it is designed. It, it's 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 designed to uh, to be kept. Uh, or stored for or for a little longer period of time, you know. Most wines are designed to be to for you to drink them within a year or two. You know, within the allotted period of time, they they have a limited shelf life, um, and then there are no guarantees that they won't turn uh, with within uh, within a couple of years after you purchase them. But there's something like this when you have something with a with a, a pit in a bottle. And I'm not going to turn it upside down. I made that mistake once, by the way. Uh, uh, that's, uh, and you can see a little bit of it there. I think that you can see a little bit of that pit there. Um, that means that it's designed to be, to be put on, on, you know, in your wine cellar or, or stored away for a little while uh, to give the, uh, the wine a chance to maybe age gracefully. And, and uh, um, you know, because some wines, uh, when you age them well, you know, that they do age well, uh, they can be a real treat to open up and drink. And as a matter of fact, Pete's here, uh, in the, if you're still in here in the chat, Pete, uh, and, and say hi if you are, definitely. Um, when Pete, I, I'll tell you what, when, when Pete and Denise stayed with us for a little while, when they were waiting for their new house to be, to be built uh, a couple of years ago, and... He brought 
a case of uh, wine, it was Bogle wine, that they had stored up for quite a long time. And I was a little apprehensive when I tried it, and, you know, they, I, I set a bottle down, and, and we were going to open up a bottle to drink uh, when he brought it brought it uh, back with him. And, you know, I was a little apprehensive to open it to try it out because it was uh, 2001, I believe. I, I don't remember which one it was. It might have been a, a cab or uh, uh, I'm trying to remember which which uh, which Bogle wine it was, but we uh, we opened it up during a, a really nice dinner, and I was I was thinking, well, you know, 2001. He said in storage for a while. It may not have aged very well. I was stunned. It really tasted well. I mean, he had now <clears throat> he had pretty much now Pete. I don't know. You know, you'd said you had this in storage uh, away, but you didn't say where you were storing it. But you must have taken very good care of this wine, because when we opened up that bottle of wine, uh, you know, it it was was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome, and he gave me a case of assorted uh, wines there, and uh, that was a great that was an that was a great gift, Pete. And I want to thank you and Denise and and. Uh, uh, and Connie for for such a nice gift. I have most of those bottles there. I have not opened them up yet. I'm saving them for special occasions because I'm thinking, I was thinking when if that wine, that 2001 wine was really, really good, uh, there's a, probably a fair indication that the rest of the wines in that case were also uh, pretty good, and, and I really want to save them for a special occasion. So I'm looking forward to opening up another bottle but I want to wait until I have a really um, a really good special occasion for doing that because, I, you know, the thing about I learned my lesson about the Camus wine. It's you know when you open it and you drink it, it you can enjoy it, but when it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, but this this is a good wine. I think I think this is a good. Apparently, this is designed to to uh, sit on the shelf for a little while. So I might just buy a couple more. Mm. It's good. Um, I just buy a couple more bottles of this and um, just to keep for a little while and see see how it uh, so, see how it ages, you know, see it, how it, how it uh, fares another year or two. I think it's worth trying. Definitely worth it, you know. And if one of them turns out to be vinegar in a couple of years, well, you know, that's that's kind of the luck of the draw. <laughs> but uh, I I I don't think so. I think this is gonna gonna be a good wine uh, another couple of years. Anyway, um, and Pete says, oh, Pete says still here, cool basement storage, steady temps. Wow, you know, I, I once again, Pete, I really want to thank you for this for for. For that case of wine, the the the, the bogle that I tried, and we did enjoy it, didn't we? It was really good. I, I was I was impressed. I was I was surprised, but I was really impressed that that the wine had held up. It was uh, 2001, I believe, is the one we opened, and we opened it in uh, 2018, wasn't it? Was it 2018, 2017? So that was uh, what. Uh, <laughs> 16 years, <laughs> so a 16-year-old bottle of wine, I'd say that was pretty good, um, if my math serves me correct me correctly, correct, I haven't had enough of this, but uh, but once again, thank you, Pete, and thank you, Denise, and thank you, Aunt Connie, and I hope Aunt Connie's doing well, by the way, as a matter of fact, and I know I'm getting off my, uh, off the, the uh, uh, my, uh, my notes here, but um, my aunt Connie, my aunt Connie, she is, uh, she was, she turned a hundred uh, years old. She's over a hundred years old. She turned a hundred years old a couple of years ago. We went up to visit her and and uh, her one hundredth birthday. And I think this year she was born on the fourth of July. Eat your heart out, Tom Cruise. Uh, born on the fourth of July. <laughs> he wasn't. Yeah, I know. It was, he just played a character, but um, but my uh, aunt uh, Connie, she was born on July fourth, and she is, I believe, this year. Now, Pete, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she's going to be 102 this July. Is that correct? 
She may be 102 years old, um, I think. Or is she going to be 103? I'm not 100% not sure. Um, but uh, she is, uh, and, hope, and hopefully she's, she's doing well. Hopefully she's, she's doing well. But uh, that's, you know, if only I, I'm hoping that I can live to be 100. I, I, I'm hoping that maybe wine like this will uh, preserve me a little bit longer and, and, uh, and I can live to a ripe old age. Uh, you know, 100, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Not too many people uh, live to be 100 years old, much less 102 or 103. I, I, I kind of lost count. Yes, Pete says yes, 102. Give my best thing Connie. Uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, because it, we're only a, 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 a week or two away from, from July 4th, here's a special toast to my Aunt Connie. 102 years old. With a really great wine here. 102 years old. And uh, Aunt Connie, may you live to be, uh, continue to, uh, to live to be much, much um, older. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Pete. And uh, Pete says, uh, still making her own meatballs and gravy. That's true. My Aunt Connie, she... Um, She's Italian, yeah, as I am. I'm, I'm, I come from uh, the Savoya family, um, but she has been making her. Uh, she has a, a her own recipe, family, an old family uh, recipe for uh, for tomato sauce, uh, which she calls gravy. That's what they call gravy, and she makes these meatballs that are the size of baseballs. I mean, I'm, I'm not kidding. Am I kidding, Pete? No, it's, I'm not kidding. She makes these her own meatballs that are the si literally the size of baseballs. And she makes up her spaghetti uh, in, uh, her spaghetti and, and puts the meatballs in the spaghetti. I tell you what, they are awesome. I mean, her spaghetti and meatballs with her gravy, her sauce, tomato sauce, uh, uh, for those who are not in the know there, <laughs> uh, and and it's just it's just awesome, and it will fill you up. I mean, it will it will, um, you know, if you if you've um, never had a real Italian meal by a real Italian, uh, you're really missing out because uh, I'm talking uh, a real Italian meal isn't just you know you set a plate down and have a little spaghetti and and have a little wine and and uh, song and that sort of thing. It's, I mean, it is a meal, and especially on, on special occasions. I can remember back when, and I'm really going off script here, uh, but you know, this is a stream of consciousness show, as I said, all uh, from from for a long time, for uh, uh, ever since the show started. That uh, this is basically a stream of consciousness saying, so hey, it's my show. If I want to go off script, I can. Right, uh, <laughs> but. I remember going to a family reunion, Savoya family reunion, and they would have a spread that uh, just and, and the meal would be a really really big big meal and 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 that was why you 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 went to an Italian a special Italian uh, dinner because it wasn't just a dinner it was it was an event you know going to to uh, eat an Italian meal that was more of an event. And uh, Pete can back me up on that because he's had, he's had a, more than a few of those uh, as well. I think that that uh, you know, Pete says, uh, "Wonder how that wine would go with her special meatballs, size of a softball with a hard-boiled egg inside." That's right. Um, she would put uh, she put uh, hard-boiled eggs uh, in some of those, didn't she? And uh, I'll tell you what, that, that's quite a meal. Uh, Aunt Connie can make quite quite a meal, and and 102 years old, and she's still, uh, as Pete was saying, she's still making her own meatballs and gravy, and uh, and I'm I'm sure it's a little bit more work for her now than it was, uh, 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 you know, uh, 20 30 years ago. But at a, at 102 years old to still be in the kitchen cooking, that's quite an achievement. In fact, I, that's such an achievement. I think I'm going to toast her again. <laughs> Just because I can. Anyway, 
here's once again here's to my aunt connie looking forward to seeing you reach 103 or 104 uh, you know that's uh, and and uh, I know I'm, ho I'm hoping you're doing well, Pete. I hope you and and Denise are doing well, also, and uh, and Denise is there. Uh, I still have her bottle of pink catawba. I have not opened it yet, and you know what? That pink pink catawba. I probably should have opened it about a year or so ago. That that pink catawba has a narrow bottom. You know, has just a, more of a flat bottom, which means that it's really supposed to be consumed. Uh, very, very shortly, as opposed to one with a deep pit in it. Excuse me, and, and um, I didn't really think about that much. I was, I was saving that for a special occasion because it was the only bottle of pink Catawba I had, and we don't know when we're going to get up to to Philadelphia um, in that area um, next. But we're, uh, uh, and of course, I, I know you're, you're, you're not. In that area, more a little bit, a little bit uh, uh, in, a, in a different area, and I think more in Lancaster. I think uh, enjoying, enjoying that, and uh, we love to go there. By the way, Lancaster, they have the uh, Shady Maple uh, Smorgasbord, the Shady Maple Buffet, and uh, next time we go up there, we're definitely going to check that out because. Uh, and we've eaten there n a number, numerous times before, and it is just awesome. If you've never been to the Shady Maple, it is just awesome. And I think I mentioned it in a previous wine stream where the Fonz went to the Shady Maple, and he really liked it. He gave it, uh, he, he gave it kudos. And uh, well, let's face it, if, if, uh, if, if uh, Henry Winkler, the Fonz, if he likes something, you know it's got to be cool right hey you know so um so definitely if you if you're ever up in that area in, in lancaster county that's up in in um in pennsylvania uh check out the shady maple it's run by amish and uh it's just it's just an awesome awesome experience uh for dining anyway i went way off track here way off track and but you know what? I'm, I'm really enjoying this wine that's really really good so I have not forgotten this, fortunately, because I have my notes with me. Um, Father's Day uh, this past uh, weekend was uh, the last weekend was was Father's Day, <clears throat> and I, um, I I really um, I really enjoyed Father's Day, and I received some nice gifts from my family, which they didn't really have to do that because I love my family anyway. The greatest gift that I could have is my family. Really, besides my life, it's my family, and um, I'm really thankful for them. My son, my my daughter, my wife, um, and I, my uh, you know my my daughter is so incredibly talented. She does the by the way. My daughter Tia has done the graphics. If you've seen the the, the drink with Rick opening graphics, um, she, that's hers. That's her work, and she does a phenomenal job on that. And if you're a podcaster or a YouTuber or a streamer or whatever, and you need some graphics done, I'll tell you, she's the one to do it. She, she's, uh, she's very good with it. My son Tommy also is a, is a podcaster. He's a veteran podcaster, nine years, going on ten years. Uh, and he's, he does really well with his Cube Command podcast, which uh, I have, uh, have a button for right here. And um, my beautiful wife, Chi, who has just uh, – she, she's just – Words can't express just just how how awesome my wife is. She just, I mean, she does so much for us, and um, she's just uh, she's just an amazing person. She really is. But uh, and there is no but because she is an amazing person. That was a transitionary uh, uh, thing I was saying. Anyway, the um, where was it going with this? Oh yeah, so Father's Day. The three of them got together, and uh, let me see if I can find. Let me get back to 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 uh, to this because uh, I don't want to throw up the wine anymore. Um, the three of them got together, and for Father's Day, they got me this, this um, the the wine fridge. 
this was just, I was not expecting this at all. I really wasn't. And um, this wine fridge, in fact, um, what, what had happened was I had a 12 bottle wine fridge that, setting, that had been sitting up on my wine bar, or what I call my wine bar. <laughs> she calls it an eyesore, but that's my wine bar, such as it is right now. Uh, but it got hit. We had a storm come through uh, sometime late last year, and it um, it took out my my wine uh, fridge, and it just it just it power surge hit it and, and it just killed it, just died. So I was going without a wine fridge, and as a matter of fact, I had some of Pete's wines, the the one the ones that he gave me, uh, the the, the, uh, the wines in the uh, uh, in the fridge, and I was worried about them them uh, not surviving uh, too much longer because um, they they were really older wines. So uh, Father's Day, they all pitched in. Um, Tia, uh, Tommy, and, and Chi, they all pitched in and they purchased a this wine fridge for me. This is a 21 bottle wine fridge. And so it's it's almost twice, uh, it holds almost twice what my old one did, which was great. I, I actually have not filled this up yet. I have some other wines that I put in there, but I actually haven't filled it up yet. Um, but this has this is pretty amazing because I don't know if you can see from from the photo, but it it has uh, two temperature controls on it. One for the lower end, the bottom part, and then uh, another temperature uh, uh, of, uh, controller for the top part. So you can hold I think six bottles in the top part, and then uh, another uh, another uh, 15, 15 in the bottom. And so you can kind of control different, you know, if you have maybe like whites uh, in one section and reds in the other, that they have to be uh, held at different temperatures or something like that, then you can control that somewhat. It has a light in there. Well, this is was a really, really awesome gift. I don't know what how much it cost them, but it, I, you know what? It, 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 it means the world to me that they gave me this gift. I was not expecting it. It was really, really awesome. And I just want to say thank you. As a matter of fact, um, in fact, uh, she's in the chat right now. She just joined us in the chat. Hi, hi, honey. And uh, I want to, once again, I want to thank you for the the wine fridge. It was a really wonderful gift. And um, here's to you. And it was a really awesome Father's Day. Uh, Pete says uh, that amount Hope Winery. Um, Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I missed, I missed that one up uh, a little bit. Pete says, uh, the My Hope Winery store is just a few hundred yards up the street from our new home here in Paradise, Pennsylvania. They bottle that Catawba Denise never runs out now. <laughs> That's convenient, isn't it? The, uh, right up the street from, from the winery. So she, she has plenty of the pink Catawba available for her to try. And uh, he says that amount Hope Winery, uh, and you know what we've been there, we've been there before, and um, as a matter of fact, I believe my dad visited that winery uh, at least once, and and uh, probably more than once, and purchased wine there. I purchased some wine uh, there before. Uh, there were some, they had uh, the, quite a few um, specialty wines there, and some that I think there was one. I'm trying to remember which one it was that that I purchased. But they had uh, some some very very fruity wines, and uh, some of them were very very good. A couple of them were too sweet for my taste, but there were some of them that were very very good that I that I really enjoyed, and that we brought back from Pennsylvania with us. And very good. The the yeah the the yeah the, that was a good winery, and I look forward to visiting that again sometime. Uh, maybe I can bring a uh, make more room. In the in the car the, the next time that we had the last time to for for uh, uh, some some wine to take back with us. Um, I was going to say oh yeah I was going to mention one more thing that the the wine the wine bar there if you notice the shirt I was uh, my friend Sean Yesner 
provided the shirt. He um, he's a buddy of mine from uh, he's a fellow podcaster, and Yester Law is his uh, his uh, law practice. He's a he's an attorney, and he specializes in uh, in uh, uh, debt uh, relief and that uh, you know getting out of uh, debt and uh, uh, bankruptcy law that sort of thing. And he um, he gave me. He sent me that shirt. I, he, we'd actually cha- exchanged shirts, T-shirts before uh, the year previously at Podfest. That's where I met him at 2018 Podfest. Really nice guy. He knows his stuff. Definitely knows his stuff. Uh, yeah, he, he does really well as, as an attorney, from from what I understand. And uh, he he practices law in, in uh, Florida. I believe he's out of Tampa, and or in that area, general area, and. Um, you know, he came out with some new shirts that were a little bit soft from the old ones. And Tommy and I wore his shirts a lot. Uh, and, you know, he came out with a new shirt uh, last year. And I said, well, hey, uh, uh, it's supposed to be softer, T-shirts softer than the previous ones, which were pretty nice. <laughs> we enjoy those shirts. And, uh, you know, I said, well, uh, you know, can can you send me one? And I said, yeah, when you get down to PodFest 2019, I'll, uh, I'll get you a shirt. But and we and we hung out with him quite a bit, but um, it, throughout the podcast he kept forgetting uh, the shirt. So we got back here to Charlotte and and I uh, and I and I messaged him. I said, "Oh, Sean, hey, I forgot about the shirt." And he says, "Hey, no problem, I'll send you one." So he he sent me one. He mailed me uh, the one of the new shirts, and I tell you, that's even more comfortable than the last one. He has awesome shirt, and I love wearing it. It's a it's it's a really cool shirt. But uh, I want to say thanks to you, Sean. Appreciate the the shirt. Thank you very much. Yes, I did sleep in that shirt. It's that comfortable. And, you know, there's some t-shirts that you can sleep in. There's some that you just can't. You know, especially when the nights are warmer during the summertime. <clears throat> and I tell you what, that shirt was just. It was. I think it was like three. Had like three different fibers in it. Uh, three different. Uh, Types of fabric. It was a, a combination. I, I think it was called a tri blend shirt, tri blend shirt, and it is so comfortable. I mean, he just put that on, and it's 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 it's, it's a really cool shirt. Um, Tommy wants to to do his next Cube Command shirts in the same material, so uh, he was asking me where Sean has his uh, T-shirts done. I think they're done in in, ta- in a Tampa uh, location. But I think Tommy wants to have some shirts made uh, the next time he has some T-shirts done for Cube Command. Pretty pretty cool shirt. I liked it. Uh, yeah, I'm gushing over the shirt, and it's just because it's it's good. I, I should have worn it on the wine stream. But, you know, I'm wearing my traditional garb here just because I can. And because it's part of, the, part of my branding here for the wine stream, the Saturday Night Wine Stream. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, I was going to mention, oh, you know, I was talking about price of wine before. And on the last wine stream, I was mentioning, yeah, I have to have some more of this. We're not quite halfway into the bottle, but we're getting there. You know, it's, 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 it's working. And, uh, and, uh, let's see. Charles, if you're still with us, say hi. Tell me what you're drinking. Tell me what you're up to as well. Anyone else joining in the chat? Join in. Uh, you know, I haven't really checked uh, what's going on YouTube lately, but uh, looks like looks like all the action's happening on on Facebook right uh, for the moment. Uh, where was I? Oh yes, uh, the price of wine. We've we've ta- I've talked a lot about the price of wine. And one of the things I've talked about is uh, is, is some of the, the places where you, you really want to buy wine based on on on, on uh, not on price but on, on the wine that you like. Now, having said that, even uh, among wines that that are, I guess you could say, commercial, commercially sold i mean you know, wines that are widely distributed the wines that you get everywhere the big name wines uh, the prices do vary quite a bit uh, not usually too much i mean you go to the supermarket and you find you know, usually if it's a decent supermarket like our harris teeter local harris teeter you can get a fairly wide selection of wine and 
Uh, the prices, now I, I don't like shopping for wine at Harris Teeter that much because the wines are a little bit more expensive there. I mean, it's a supermarket, it's Harris Teeter. Um, and it is, it's, I'm not, it's not a bad thing about Harris Teeter. It's just that, that you're buying the super, wine at the supermarket, you're probably going to be paying a little bit more. Uh, in, at least in our local Harris Teeter. They do, spe they do have specials. But I think the specials are really more, in a lot of ways, I think they're a little bit more contrived. They do have some loss leader specials every once in a while. But if if you hold one of their supermarket Harris Teeter cards or Vic cards, as they call them, uh, then you can get a good deal. You can get a really good deal on a wine sometimes, uh, the certain wines they have on sale. But... Uh, you know, I, I like to shop at Trader Joe's quite a bit. They have some decent prices, decent prices on some good wines, some decent wines. Uh, I, I now, of course, the wine store is my my new favorite place. And I tell you what, the prices at a wine store are actually pretty good compared to the. You know, uh, you know an example here is the traditional wine, where they said, you know, you know, I've seen it online for about forty dollars a bottle, and at the wine at wine store, uh, I paid twenty twenty four ninety nine twenty five dollars, and that's been fairly consistent with a lot of the wines that I purchased from there. I've purchased. Uh, uh, a number of wine. A lot of the wines here that are on the back row, I have actually purchased from Wine Store in Blakeney, and the prices have been pretty reasonable. Actually, another good place to get wine is Total Wine. If you have a Total Wine in your area, TotalWine.com, or what I, what I affectionately refer to as the Total Wino. Okay, I have called it the Total Wino, but that, that's that's more of an affectionate term. That's not that's not uh, to disparage them at all. Okay, so don't don't hit me up with any with any uh, defamatory lawsuits or anything because I don't need I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just it's more of an affectionate term. Okay, uh, but the uh, at the uh, Total Wine, <clears throat> we'll, we'll play it straight here. The Total Wine, <laughs> uh, their prices are actually fairly decent on a lot of the wines, but they do have. Um, they have a large selection of wines and beers, including craft beers, and they carry a lot of local craft beers as well. So it's actually a pretty good place to go for for uh, if you're looking for a craft beer um, that's especially uh, especially a local because they'll carry some of the local uh, some of the beers from the local breweries and wines from some of the local wineries. If you have a winery in your area that's fairly local. Uh, they are uh, a pr pretty decently priced. Uh, they, they are. Uh, however, online, you would think, uh, you know, you, you talk about uh, purchasing items online. The big thing today is, on, is, is buying online. You know, you have Amazon.com, and they're giving places like Target and Walmart even a run for the money because they're really competing aggressively on price and uh, a lot of online merchants they, there are some advantages to buying things online because oftentimes you can find it uh, online uh, for less than where you, what you could find it what you could find it for in a big box store and, and of course there the obvious reasons are you know the big box store you know they don't have the online stores don't necessarily have all the overhead that the big box stores do or that the local retailers do with all the rent and the uh, hiring of all the uh, employees the clerks uh, and that sort of thing um and i'm not going to go into a big long thing about that because i think we all know how that works pretty much um the thing is, though, buying online, you would think the natural assumption there is because Amazon and some of the other uh, large retailers and, 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 and uh, online stores, uh, well-known branded merchants online, uh, can offer uh, products. Uh, the, the online merchants can offer products consider for considerably less than a lot of the retailers. And we're not talking about the, we're not factoring in the shipping costs, uh, although some of them actually do offset that with offering free shipping, like, for instance, Amazon, if you're an Amazon Prime member, which I am, actually, and there's a lot of advantages to that. 
but aside from the shipping, uh, yeah, there are some advantages to shopping online, but not always. In the case of wine, that's a little bit different story. Now, sometimes you can find uh, wines online for uh, for about as cheap as you can get them. Or I don't want to say cheap because you know I'm not saying that the wines are cheap wines. I'm just saying that they're less expensive. Uh, I'm not. I don't want to get into semantics, but let, let's say that you can get the wines. Um, uh, less online than you can in the store. That's not always true. And as a matter of fact, doing some personal research on this, I have found that it's actually not true at all. Sometimes your best deals on wine come, actually come from your local retailer than they do online. Now, yeah, there are the wine clubs and things like that, but you know what? If you go searching around, the wine clubs actually aren't that cheap. They really aren't. Well, there's one in particular. There's a, a um, there's one I kind of want to bring out, and I'm not here to bash them or anything like that, but I was searching around, and I was searching around for, for um, uh, wine stores because what I want to do, you know, is, is basically... Uh, it, it cost me. It cost me to 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 do the wine stream, and it cost me to buy the wines to to review, like it did this one, <laughs> and definitely. But um, to offset some of the costs, I was thinking, well, you know, I could do, I could set up like a Patreon account or something like that, take donations, that sort of thing. I really don't want to go that route just yet. So why why don't I just I set up my website and say, well, you know, maybe I can offset the costs a little bit. Uh, by um, by joining affiliate programs and, and doing having affiliate links and things like that. So that's what I do. You know, you go on, on my website, drinkwithrick.com, and you're going to find some of the products like the Veneto um, products. And if you like this, and when I do, and I actually recommend this one, uh, you can find this one. On my, uh, you can find a link to it on my website at drinkwithrick.com. You can purchase it online from Amazon. And if you do, that would be great because... They would, uh, you know, they uh, I would make a little bit on the side from that, not getting rich off of by any means, but just maybe just to offset the cost a little bit of of, of doing this, of bringing this wine stream to you every Saturday night. Uh, where I was going with this, and I am yes, I am pouring the wine. I keep pouring the wine. Where I'm going with this is that I was looking for some. Um, affiliate programs that I could add to my site. And I'm completely I'm I'm completely upfront with you, okay? I, I can put up an FTC disclaimer on this, but I'm being completely upfront. Yes, I was looking for some uh, 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 wine uh, online wineries and online wine places uh, that, that sell wine to, that I could join affiliate programs with and add affiliate links to for wines that I like. In other words, if I like this wine, this traditional wine, and uh, I could put a link to it to say whoever was selling this, wherever it was available. Wine store doesn't have an affiliate account uh, or doesn't have affiliate program, at least per se, right now. So uh, otherwise, I'd link directly to them. And they actually don't have this wine uh, on their website. I was just on the website this evening, and their website is, their, their wine is actually, this wine is actually not on their website right now. That's how new this is. Um, so I was looking around for affiliate links, and uh, I, I joined a couple of affiliate um, uh, programs. And then I was looking around for, for companies that sold wine online. And uh, I found, I, I came across this, this website called Wine on Sale, wineonsale.com. So I'm thinking, well, this looks pretty promising. It looks like right up my alley. I could offer a few wines for, for sale on my website and have them linked to it. And, and in state now, of course, when it comes to wine, uh, you know, a lot of legal issues involved. And, and a lot of uh, uh, states have different laws about where you can buy a, a wine online or if you can even buy wine online and have it shipped to you. Because some some states don't allow that. Some states don't allow you to. Uh, they don't allow uh, wineries to ship 
to um, now some winery uh, I think in the case of a winery if it's a directly from the winery oftentimes the winery can ship directly to you uh, in, in, in a lot of states um, retailers retail um, uh, wine stores cannot they can only ship to certain states. there's certain states that will allow uh, sales out of state or uh, to be able to ship wine or transport wine uh, interstate and and uh, you know interstate in between states uh, in some states not all of them and uh, of course I did some research on this because I was going to send my my sister Gina some uh, wine and she lives in California and I'm you know she's on the west coast I'm on the east coast uh, so I want to make sure she could get that and of course fortunately a wine store was able to to do that because California is one of those states um, that do allow uh, you know uh, out-of-state uh, wine retailers to to ship to so that worked out okay uh, however there are some states that don't allow it and uh, not every state does allow it so I was looking you know I was looking around to see well you know what what uh, what retailers want wine sellers online could ship to which states and then I could I could uh, work out something there in that regard well I came across this um, this company called uh, let me see I had it uh, up here wineonsale.com the reason I'm, I'm pulling it up on my computer right now is because I'm, I'm going to use this for notes wineonsale.com sells uh, a lot of the and then they do have some specialty they do have some wines that are very very expensive that are for collectors they do have some collector wines which are very very pricey by the way and, and of course that that goes without saying because collector wines in general are going to be very very pricey so if you're a collector uh, and I do a little bit of wine collecting although as I said in the past I have trouble doing that because I have a tendency to drink the wines before uh, <laughs> before their time <laughs> um, and because I, I like wine but so collecting for me is a little bit more difficult <laughs> uh, although I'm trying to use some restraint in, in that respect and this new wine cooler this new wine fridge that that uh, my family uh, purchased for me uh, may actually help me in that regard uh, wine on sale has some of these wines that uh, are for uh, collectors and then they have a lot of wines most of their wines are are just regular wines that you can purchase pretty much anywhere uh, pretty much anywhere that, that that wine's available to purchase in a local supermarket that sort of thing so I thought, well, this should be interesting because if, if, if supposedly, according to their website, they have, seriously, according to their website, they say they have the best prices on wine. Purchasing it from them is a bargain. They have the best prices on wine. So I said, okay, let's see. Do they really have the best prices on wine? We're going to find out right now. Do they really have the best prices on wine? Okay, I'm looking at the reds because I'm partial to the red wines. And I'm not going to pull up the site on the, the, their site here because uh, uh, you, you know they might come after me because uh, this is not very complimentary. <laughs> A little spoiler there, uh, so I don't want them coming after me uh, if I'm throwing their website up on on the stream. Anyway. So I'm looking at the first thing that catches my eye when I when I when I look on their site, and it's actually right. I'm looking at it right now. Is barefoot wine, barefoot Merlot? Now, as my wife Chi would would uh, attest to, uh, I'm I have purchased I, I've I've had a, a, the barefoot Merlot many many times. In fact, uh, I liked the barefoot Merlot. It's a lower in the wine. It's a, it's a lower price wine, but I, for Merlots, I've actually liked it. Now, uh, and my taste has changed a little bit, and I'll tell you what, this traditional wine, if I could afford this every day, I probably would 
forget about the barefoot and just go with this every day because this is actually a pretty good wine. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, or who was I? Oh, yeah, this wine is too good. So, anyway, um, I'm looking at their website, Wine on Sale, and, and I'm actually looking at it right now. Barefoot wine goes uh, for about roughly an average. The most I've seen it for is about $6 a bottle. Okay. Now, at our local Harris Teeter, they sell it for $5.99 regular price for a 750 milliliter bottle. Now, they do have larger bottles. They, have, they do have the, the, the large table wine size bottles. And they, they go for about $10 to $11 a bottle. And I have purchased those before as well. But the Barefoot Merlot, in, uh, it goes for about $6 a bottle, $5.99. And it, actually, if you go to Total Wine, they actually have it for, or they used to. I haven't been down there for a while to check for, uh, for it, but... The last time I was down there, which was a while back, they were selling it for like four ninety eight a bottle, something like that. It was an odd, odd number, and I, and there's a reason for that odd number, and I'll go into it in another future wine stream. I'm not going to cover that tonight, but there's a reason why it, they have a four ninety eight uh, dollar uh, price tag on it. Uh, why it's that kind of an odd number. Uh, but Harris Teeter, our local Harris Teeter, will often do, this is one of those wines where they'll often do a Vicard special where they'll sell it for like $5 a bottle or two for 10. You can get two bottles for 10, which makes them $5 a bottle. Um, so, and, and I have made that purchase before because, you know, it's okay. I like it and, and, uh, and, and I'll do it. And uh, so I went on Wine on Sale, and I'm looking at it actually right now, and they have it. And this is a this is a website that's claiming to have the lowest prices on wine. Okay, that's what that's their claim. At least that was a claim that that I read uh, uh, last time I checked. Save twenty five percent on this Barefoot Merlot. That's what they have. Save twenty five percent. The regular price they have listed for $12 a bottle. $12 a bottle. And there's a strike through on that. They have that strike through and grayed out. And they're selling it for $8.99 a bottle. I'm not making this up. I'm not, no, no kidding. I'm looking at the red price, the big price. They've got a, a, a $12 grayed out strike through. And they're selling it for $8.99 a bottle. This is the 750 milliliter Barefoot Merlot. Same wine that I buy in Harris Teeter for $5.99 a bottle on a regular day. That's a regular price. And $5 a bottle when it's on special. They're selling it for $8.99. That's $9 a bottle. Now, that does not include shipping does not include shipping. Now, I haven't looked at their shipping charges. I'm pretty sure the shipping is, I, 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 I'm not, not, uh, you know, I'm not sure that the shipping is, is free here. Now, if the shipping is free, the shipping is free, that's still not worth it for me. I mean, even if the shipping is free, it's still not worth it because I can drive down to there. You know, as a matter of fact, Harris Teeter has instituted a um, a uh, a pickup, a grocery pickup service. So, you know, I could technically get my groceries delivered if I wanted to, but I can go down there and pick up my groceries. And we have a local Harris Teeter that is less than one mile from my house. It's 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 half a mile from my house, if that. I don't know how, how far is it. Gee, how far do you think the Harris Teeter is? About half a mile, maybe. Maybe half a mile, 
maybe less than that. It's it's across the bridge. We have uh, Highway 485 down there on the bridge. Just cross the bridge, and I'm in there in, in Stonecrest, and the Harris Teeter in Stonecrest has it, and 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 it's all good. You know, it's it's. I spend maybe a nickel in gas money to go down there and get this thing. Okay, I can pick it up on my way home from work. So, um, I I'm, I'm not. Eight dollars ninety nine cent, nine dollars a bottle for this bottle of wine. Okay. And uh, they're saying that they're the lowest prices. I don't think so. Even if the shipping is free, which I don't think it is, and I'm looking at it, I'm looking through right now. Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about it right now. But yeah, even if the shipping was free, and if the shipping is not free, that's even worse. That's even a worse deal. But um, $5.99 about now, taking account that I'm in North Carolina. So maybe the prices are maybe maybe I'm getting wine cheaper, maybe I'm just getting the wine in a better deal all the way around. But uh, I would gather my my guess is 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 probably not too much more than that in your area, wherever you are. So I'm just guessing that uh, you probably, if I'm getting the the, the barefoot wine for about five. Six dollars a bottle. That's probably pretty close to what you're getting now. Even if it's not, even if it's a little more expensive. Now I have seen it actually a little bit more expensive up in the mountains. If I go up to the hills, go up to the mountain areas around Boone, that sort of thing. And I have been to sort of uh, to some of those stores. I, I think um, uh, Shop and Save or something like that. Uh, that we went into once, and it was it was a little bit pricier. It was a little bit pricier. It was probably about seven dollars, seven ninety nine. But even so. When you're matching the price from the from the local retailer, you're matching it online. I would not. I would still not call that the cheapest wine, the most expensive wine. Now, to be fair, okay. To be fair, that is one. That is one label. Okay. So I'm going to look at a couple other labels here and see what else we have. So we have the barefoot at nine dollars a bottle, which I can get for for considerably less, for about ha almost half that. Okay, and uh, I know that they have. Oh, let me look this up. I'm pretty sure that they have the, uh, the Josh. Now Josh wines. I also like Josh wines, and yes, they do. They do have the Josh wines. Josh Sellers. Uh, I like the Josh wines. As a matter of fact, if you uh, have a, a Sam's Club around, you can get the Josh wines pretty inexpensively at Sam's Club. And uh, they sell Josh. They sell Josh at the Total Wine. They sell it at um, I think I, I've seen it a number of places. They sell it at the Harris Teeter. They sell it at most most of the stores. I do like Josh wines. They're actually pretty good, decent wines. Um, they're not wines that I would um, actually. I take the back. They're actually I, I I do like Josh wine. So so and, and their Merlot is good. Their Cab is good. Uh, they have a Zinfandel that I like. Um, the Chardonnay. I'm not big on Chardonnays anyway. And, and I I think I have tried the Josh Chardonnay once. I don't really remember once, but uh, I don't really remember uh, uh, what it was. But uh, the Zinfandel, I've, I think I've had all, most all of those wines and the reds, and they're all pretty decent wines. Okay, they're not, they, I tell you what, they're definitely not a traditional wine, but they're they're okay. They're they're pretty good, especially for the price. They're not bad. However, that uh, having said that, that depends on the price, doesn't it? All right, I've seen Josh wines anywhere from between ten ninety five and twelve ninety five a bottle. Now, if I go to Harris Teeter and buy them, I generally don't buy them at Harris Teeter because they generally are a little bit on the higher end. They're about $11.95, $12.95 a bottle for, for a Josh Cab or a Josh Merlot. Um, at Sam's Club, however, Sam's Club has them for around, uh, like, uh, around 
and they also sell them at uh, the Total Wine. I think pretty much they're a little bit higher in the Total Wine. I, th I, th I think I, I, I priced them all out between the three, between um, Harris Teeter and Sam's and uh, Total Wine. Uh, Sam's actually has the best price. They really do. So uh, I, I, I have purchased, and, and, and I will probably purchase a few more bottles of, of Josh wines from Sam's Club. Now, we get to wine on sale, and once again, this is supposed to be the, uh, the online store that has the best, lowest prices on wine, right? Now, I just saw the shipping thing. Up on the top, they have a red bar. It says, get free shipping on orders of 6 to 18 bottles, and they give a coupon code. I'm not going to give a coupon code here. It says, not valid with other offers. Okay, free shipping on orders of 6 to 18 bottles. So you have to buy, in other order to get free shipping at wineonsale.com, you have to buy a minimum of 6 bottles to 18 bottles. I'm not going to do that. Because I'll tell you what, look at the Josh one. Oh, you can't. I, <laughs> I'm not going to show it to you. I'm going to read it to you. The uh, It says here, save 31%. This is on the Merlot, the 2017 Merlot, which I can get at Sam's Club for for less than 12 bucks, you know, around 10 to $11, okay? I can get that at Sam's Club for that much. Save 31%. They have a price... A grayed out price with a strike through of $23. $23. Now I know that I have never seen Josh Wines anywhere for sale for $23. Anywhere. So I don't know where they're getting that 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 number from. I really don't. I have I have not seen Josh Wine anywhere here locally for $23. I have not seen it anywhere locally for less than than $13 a bottle. Not any Josh wine for less than $13 a bottle. Okay? Their price with that strike through on $23 a bottle is $15.95. $15.95 for a Josh Sellers Merlot 2017 750 milliliter bottle of wine. That tells me that uh, two things. One, Wine on sale is not on sale at this site. It's not on sale. Simply not. Okay. Second, it tells me that uh, if I want to buy wine, a uh, Josh wine anyway, some of these local wines, some of these common wines, it's probably best for me to buy them at the local supermarket. In this case, with the Josh wine, it's probably best to buy them at Sam's Club. But, but, uh, and this is no way a pitch for Sam's Club because I I have my issues with Sam's. Trust me. And uh, I I tell you what, if Sam Walton were alive, I'd have a little conversation with the man. But uh, wineonsale.com does not have wine on sale. It has wine, but it is not on sale. Now, maybe it's on sale to them, but it is not on sale. If you live in an area, in, 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 in most areas of the country, I would, I would probably say, I'd say that there's a pretty good chance that you could find it somewhere around your area much for much less than you would um, from wine on sale. Plus, you would have to order six bottles or more to get the free shipping. So you, you tack on the shipping on to this wine. If it can be shipped to your state, uh, it's going to be considerably more. Because wine isn't, I mean, this is a liquid. This is like, you know, it's, it's, heavy, it's heavy stuff. It's not going to be cheap to ship, even ground. Uh, which is probably more than likely how it would be shipped. And then you have to worry about the, you know, how it's going to be, if it's going to arrive in good shape or if it's going to be, you know, if, you know, if the shipper's going to handle it well. And 
Another thing about buying wine online, shipping wise, is that you know a lot of wines they really need to be in controlled climates. They really need to stay in controlled climates. Now, a few hours out in the uh, you know in the elements, uh, probably probably okay. If you're sitting in the car for an hour or two, you're okay. But you don't want this sitting out for two days on a tr on a UPS truck or something somewhere, uh, and expect this wine to get to you in any decent shape. Uh, you just don't, I, I really wouldn't want to take that chance. Now, I might if it's a bottle of very uh, if it's a bottle of wine I can't find anywhere else, and I want to purchase it online, and that's the only place that I can get it. That's the only place I can get it. Or if I'm part of a wine club and it's a specialty wine, and you know it's it's uh, uh, and they can get it to me fairly quickly, then yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take a chance on that. But if I'm buying it, if I'm paying a premium price for a bottle of wine that I can get at the local store uh, for for considerably less, for about ten to twenty, maybe thirty percent less than what I can get online. Uh, from WineOnSale.com or some of these other places like that that sell them uh, these these wines. Uh, do I really want to risk uh, the shipping on that wine? Not just from a standpoint of cost, but from a standpoint of 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 handling. You know, where are those wines going to be? Are they going to be sitting on a hot truck somewhere in a hot warehouse somewhere for a couple of days? Is that a chance you really want to take? Uh, for, for the most part, not for me. Not for me. So, and I think we're about down to about half. That's just about half the bottle. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> uh, I think we're coming up. Whoa, we're, we're kind of we're running over, aren't we? <laughs> I get to talking or running over. Look, um, uh, I, I, I hate to end this wine stream because, as always, I really enjoy uh, talking with you. I enjoy talking, period, <laughs> but especially after I've had some wine, about half a bottle of it. And this is a really good bottle of wine. Once again, for those who are just joining us, this is called Tradition. It's a red wine from Napa Valley. I have discovered... That it is 50% Merlot, 50% Cab, and uh, it is a really good wine. Uh, I, uh, it goes for about $40 a bottle, I, uh, I see online, but I purchase it from Wine Store, winestore-online.com, which is actually not on their website yet, but it's pretty new to them. But I purchased it at my local wine store in Blakeney for uh, $24.99, $25. Which is pretty much the, price, the the most expensive wine I have opened so far on the Saturday Night Wine Stream. I had it with a little bit of lasagna. I had it with some, excuse me, with some meat that my uh, wife Chi put together for me. And uh, it seems to go well with both of those, especially the lasagna. It really brought out the flavor of the lasagna. Uh, I think it really, uh, really added to the meal. So I think it goes pretty good with the lasagna. Yeah, go good with some spicy meats. Go good with uh, probably go good with the lamb. Uh, go good with uh, any kind of spicy meat. Um, maybe a buffalo burger. If you like that, a little gamey meat, I guess. Uh, I would maybe a, a, a fairly spicy cheese. Maybe maybe um, maybe a, a little sharp cheese. Maybe. Um, I have, um, and I said I mentioned before that I might try it with, uh, with a with an olive with a stuffed garlic, uh, stuffed olive stuffed with garlic. I hesitate to do that, but I'm going to try it now just because I had about half a bottle, and you know, frankly, I don't care. Mm. Mm. I love the olives, by the way. Because I, I like those kind of olives. Okay. I wouldn't say that it goes really good with stuffed garlic olives, okay? I, I would say that. I think the, the meat goes better with the meat. And lasagna. 
which by this time is really cold because it's been sitting here for about two hours. So I'm not going to eat more of that. But the um, beef summer sausage. It adds a nice accent to the beef to the beef summer sausage. It's really good. So I would say, yeah, it's, it's probably fine for that. Um, it goes <clears throat> pretty good with, uh, I think it goes pretty good with a, a couple of different pastas. So I, I would say that's good. It's not available from Vivino yet. It's um, available from uh, Total Wine, uh, not Total Wine, excuse me. It's, it's available from uh, Wine Store, winestore-online.com, but I don't, but they don't have it on their website yet. Uh, Acme Fine Wines has it on their, uh, they're the ones that have it for $40 a bottle. And it doesn't say whether or not they have it available yet or not. It doesn't say that it is. It looks like it might be, but I can't. I can't uh, verify that. I can't. I can't verify that 100%. So, anyway, uh, I pro it's probably about time to go. Now, there's one other thing I wanted to mention. Uh, I have been reading the Wine Bible. If you want to know more about wine. I have been reading a book called The Wine Bible, and I've, I've just started delving into it. Um, the Wine Bible is a book by uh, 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 Karen, uh, what's her name? Uh, I got it written down here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Right. Karen McNeil. Karen McNeil is a, a very, very prominent um, um, wine connoisseur. And uh, she she knows a lot about wine. She's very well known apparently in the in the wine community. And she wrote a book. Uh, I think this book was published in 2015, if I remember correctly. Uh, and it's called the Wine Bible. And it is a massive. I want to say it's a it's a thousand and eight pages in its in its uh, paperback form. I got the Kindle version from Amazon and I am reading through it right now. It is a really, really good so far, from what I've been reading so far, uh, she definitely knows she definitely knows her wines. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, I've been reading through it, and I re I'm really enjoying the book. I've learned a lot about wine since then. I'm continuing to learn more and I'm reading a little bit in the evenings. It's um, it it's pretty much a, basically a wine bible. It's a compendium of, of wine in general, and if you really want to know more about wine, um, I do. So far, I'm really enjoying this book. I highly recommend this book. Yeah, and once again, it was it was uh, I think it was published in 2015 originally, so it's fairly recent. Um, and, and she uh, apparently has won a lot of awards uh, for for her, um, her 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 knowledge of wine. Uh, I think it's available now. I I got it for free because I'm an Amazon Prime member, so I got it for free, and I'm reading it on my Kindle. Um, and if you have a Kindle, you can probably in your an Amazon Prime member, you can pick this up for free. At, at Amazon.com. If not, I think the paperback version is is eighteen eighteen ninety five or something like that. Uh, I, I think the there's a hard I think there's even a hardback version available um, that that's a little bit more. But I would highly highly recommend this book to learn more about wine. And if you go to drinkwithrick.com, I have I believe it's somewhere there somewhere. Um, I have a, well, let's see, I have a link to it somewhere, I'm pretty sure, on the side, it's probably on the sidebar, yeah, it's uh, it's on the, uh, it's on the uh, right sidebar, so there's the, it's called the Wine Bible, and you can pick that up at Amazon, definitely, if you click on that link and pick it up, that would do me a big favor, because it would help support 
of the Saturday Night Wine stream. It helps support drinkwithrick.com and it'll help support me to be able to buy a little more wine so I can taste them and try them out. Um, but pretty much other than that, I, I, once again, I, I do recommend that one, that book. And I do recommend this wine. This is a very good wine. This tradition uh, red wine. And I think I'll put, I got another photo of it. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> Let me put the other one back up here. Um, there we go. The tradition 2016 Napa Valley red wine. I do highly recommend this wine. And I give this wine, I give this wine two thumbs up. I have both thumbs up here. I give them two thumbs up. It's an excellent wine. I do recommend it. Uh, anybody else with us in the chat here? Uh, looks like, uh, okay, uh, I guess uh, Charles and Pete. I want to thank you both for joining me for the wine stream tonight and my lovely wife, Chi. And if anyone is watching this later, definitely tell me what you think. Uh, give me your recommendations on wine. If you tried this wine or if you have tried this wine, let me know what you think about it. See if you like it. See if you agree. But once again, I do highly recommend this wine, Tradition. It, it's it's a very good wine. I really enjoy it. A lot of... It's, it's a rather complex wine. It has a lot of different flavors in it. But I tell you what, I can, I can definitely pick up the, the chocolate, the blueberry. A little bit of the vanilla. It's somewhat tannic. Not too tannic. Has some tannins in it, but this is good. A little acidic, but it's okay. It's okay. It's it's good. It's all good, and it has a, it does have a nice bouquet to it. Uh, Fifty percent merlot, fifty percent cabernet for sauvignon. I do recommend this wine. And you know what? I would recommend that if you drink this wine, drink it with uh, with an aerator on it. It'll bring out the flavor a little bit more. So I think it's done. I didn't use the aerator last week when we brought out, uh, what did we use? We used the um, Corvina. And I meant to use the aerator on it, and I did not. And I think that that's, I think that's one reason why I, uh, some of the flavors didn't really pop out to me like, uh, like they did tonight. I think an aerator, an aerator definitely helps bring out the flavor of the wine you give it a chance to breathe give it a chance to you know get some oxygen in there um and a chance to mix in and uh that really really helps the flavor bring out the flavors of the wine the aromas the flavors the finish the finish is good on this wine by the way it's, it has a very nice finish so um if, if you can get a nice area if you have a nice aerator uh use it if you don't get one, Veneto has, makes a, a really nice uh, kit with an aerator and a stopper and, and all kinds of cool stuff in, in that kit. And it's only 20 bucks, and that's available from Amazon, too. You can click on the link and, uh, on my website, drinkwithrick.com, and make that purchase there. That would be very, very helpful. That, that, that would really go a long way to supporting the Saturday Night Wine Stream and drinkwithrick.com. I would really, really appreciate that. Hey, um... You know, obviously, if if you if you uh, have a obviously, let me say, see, I've had too much of this. But isn't that what you came to see, or anyway? Yeah, probably. Um, of course, you can reach me at Rick at SavoyaMedia.com. That's Rick at S A V O I A M E D I A dot com. Tell me what you what you like. Give me your recommendations on wine. I'm looking for wine recommendations. If you have a wine that I haven't tried, you know I haven't tried that you've tried that you like, send them to me. I will make a point to purchase the wine and try it out. And, and 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 we'll see see if it works. And I'll tell you what, if you've got, you send me your wine recommendations, I'll send you. I know it's not really a fair trade, is it? You send me your wine recommendations, and if I try your wine, if I buy one and try it out, I'll send you a, a drink with Rick button. I'll drink this. The official. This is the official drink with Rick um, pinback button, and. Um, 
you know, like the one I'm wearing here. And uh, we can all drink with Rick, with Rick together. <laughs> I've had enough, haven't I? Yes, I have. So um, you can reach me at rick at savoyamedia.com, rick at s-a-v-o-i-a-m-e-d-i-a.com. You can also uh, visit my Facebook uh, page, Drink With Rick. Uh, check me out on YouTube, Drink With Rick. Um, of course, uh, you can visit my website, drinkwithrick.com, or, you know, saturdaynightwinestream.com. I should be able to get you there. If it doesn't, I'll, I'll get that fixed uh, shortly so it makes that so that happens. Drinkwithrick.com. And uh, everything's Drink With Rick. I mean, th doesn't that tell you something? That tells you something. That tells you that you should open up your favorite bottle of wine and drink with Rick. And that's what, that's what this is all about. Actually, it's also about just getting together with friends and having a good time. So... It's time to close up the wine stream tonight. I hope you had a great time. I did. I had a great time because I had it with you. And I really enjoyed um, this time together. I enjoyed opening this bottle of wine. I enjoyed my lovely wife. She's, um, uh, 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 what is that? <laughs> I've had too much of this wine. I enjoyed my lovely wife, cheese lasagna, which really, really, the, the wine really brought out the flavor of this lasagna, by the way. And I said that a couple times already. I did not eat dinner, so I'm going to go down and have a little bit. It's late at night, but I'm still going to go down and have some of this lasagna because I really want to try it with this wine. In the meantime, join me next week, and we will open up another bottle of wine. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. It might be. We could open up that bottle of Mystified that I have over here, which I did not buy from the wine store. Or we could open up a bottle of the um, Jeunesse Terre, uh, what is it called? Uh, Darguil. That is a, another wine that I tried at wine store and I purchased a bottle of it. And actually, that was what I was originally going to open because it was only $19.99 a bottle. Uh, but I have that down. Uh, I have that downstairs in my in my uh, uh, in my wine bar. But I opened this one up because I just felt this was this was special. It was worth it. It was, uh, you know, I I want to try it out, and I'm glad I did because it was great wine. And anyway, so join us next week. We'll open up a bottle of wine. Maybe I'll surprise you. Or maybe you'll surprise me. Maybe you'll send me your recommendation of a wine to try. And I'll purchase it. And I'll try it out. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try it out together. And we'll see what, it, uh, see, uh, see what it's like. Anyway, everyone have a great week. Have a safe week. Drive safely. Don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. And I'll see you next week. On the Saturday Night Wine Stream, we can, where we can all get together and drink with Rick. Good night, everybody. <laughs>